Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a round one matchup for the New England Knockout Scratch Doubles. Tonight we see a match of Josh Daly and Dave Barber teaming up to face on Justin Scally and Jeff Walsh live from Academy Lanes in Haverhill, Mass. Get Justin Scally up starting on the right, Daly on the left. Scally's first ball here. Right in the pocket. Little baby split there on the left side. Daly's first. All over it, but two full leaves a spread eagle. If you're in here, share this to Candlepin Chat. Let your friends see some Candlepin bowling tonight. Both bowlers on their head pin to start. We're going to try and keep track of everything. We do have Jeff Little here with us helping along. He'll jump in on commentary. This guy looking to hit that cap as it came back as an unfavorable piece of wood. All over it, and a great shot there by Justin Scally. Daly trying to make something out of his, right down the middle again. Looking for a big out here. And just plucks two out of that for a tough six start for Josh. Scally looking to repeat that first ball and stay in the pocket. See if he can get a big fill out of it. Scally's fill ball. Back all over the pocket. Another eight drop. A little tougher split here. Piece of wood that could take a bounce. Daly with all over the pocket again. Big nine drop. Just leaves the king with the, with the plank. And Scally looking for a friendly roll. Can only pluck one. Daly all over his for his first spare of the match. Scally looking to clean his up for a 10. All over it for a big 10 there. 28 through 2 to start for Justin Scally. 16 through 2 plus a ball for Josh Daly. Scally looking to stay on the head pin. All over it. Tougher split here. Not much would help Josh back all over the head pin. Looking to get his first strike. It doesn't fall back. Just leaves the eight pin, but a great nine fill there for Josh. Scally looking to see if he can send something over for the spare and just plucks one. Daily a lot of wood trying to get the spare. And it does push back. And a big 10 there from Justin Scally. Both bowlers three for three on the head pin. Scally looking to stay there. He's been all over the pocket thus far. See if he can stay living in that pocket again. And he is off in a lemon drop there. Josh looking to fill his spare big. Back in the pocket, but the same 2-1 split we saw for Scally a little while ago. Great seven fill, but going to be a tough shot to make for the spare. Scally looking for a big comeback ball. And he gets back in the pocket, but leaves the triangle left. Josh looking to send it. Takes everything but the five. Scally for the ten. Plucks one for a tough eight box there. Daly looking to clean out his 10 up and all over it. 52 through four for Josh Daly, 46 through four for Justin Scally. Both bowlers looking to sit on a mark here and get something going for their teammates to come up in the second half of game one. Scally's first ball, box five. Off to the right again, leaves. One, four, seven, ten. Josh just leaves the seven pin. I believe that was it just tickled the head pin on there. I'm going to give him credit for it. Scally was off. He's got to shoot the nice shot here. Let's see if he can get it. Oh, he just missed the head pin again. He will, will need a big out here as Josh tries to get another mark. And plenty of wood there to help him along. That's a beautiful half right there. Great half for Josh Daly, 62 through five, and a ball, and a great great out by Scally there. I'm going to pass you over to Jeff Little, who's going to take you through the, the second bowlers of this duo here. 
Thank you, Corey. We have uh, Jeff Walsh and uh, Dave Barber. Um, this should be a great match here, too. Jeff, just a little off the head pin right now. Dave, a little off on the head pin. Jeff with a beautiful spare. And Dave with a beautiful spare, too. No surprise there. Jeff right in the pocket, leaves a split. Dave right in the pocket with a nine pin drop. Jeff with a very good bid right there for a spare. Dave all over the uh, single pin for another spare. Jeff with a nice 10 box. Jeff is at uh, 25 right now after two. Dave is at 29 and he has a fill. That was a nice try by Jeff. Dave on the head pin for the spare opportunity. Nice 10 by Jeff. Dave with a 7 box. Jeff has a 45 after 4. Dave has a 49 after 4. Right now, Dave and Josh are up by 10. But Josh also still has a fill of a spare to fill in the 5th uh, box. Jeff in the pocket, leaves the diamond again. Dave leads Spread Eagle. I feel like I just seen this. <laughs> Jeff cannot get the diamond cutter. Dave with a very nice bid at the Spread Eagle. Great pin by Jeff. Dave with a nine, and I will give you back to the man, the myth, the legend, Corey. There you go. Thanks, Jeff. Again, I put it in the comments, but we are dealing with some, some rough Wi-Fi, as most bowling houses have these days. We are on a wireless hotspot, so it is connecting. Um, but just if we have any, any cutouts, we're going to get that back as quickly as possible. Yeah, Josh Daly filling his spare on the lane 36, followed by Seattle. We're going to get a big start on lane 35. Josh's fill ball. All over the head pin, a little bit light, but a friendly wood roll back for a great nine drop and just a single to shoot for another spare. Scally off to the right leaves the four horsemen left. Josh for another spare, all over it. Scally looking to run this down for his spare. And way right. This is everything looking for a big out here. Scally going for the 10 box here. Just clips the head pin for a tough seven. So bottom left of your screen, you will see the total score. Uh, yes, Mike, a bounce paranoid is a key. Josh for a big fill ball here. Off to the left. It's a one, three, six. Good seven fill. Scally back in the pocket. Looking to push the 10 pin over, it doesn't go. Just hoping the wood sets up for him here. Josh, another spare, misses the head pin. We're gonna 
between that pin's 10. Scally does have a tough piece of wood set there. He has to be way left on it in order to get this 10 pin to go. He red line that's gonna blow past it. Or I'm wrong. I am completely wrong. Big spare there from Scally. In a nine box there for Josh. There was a head pin hit for Scally and a spare. Trying to keep things as tracked as possible here. Looking to get back on track here. Back all over it, a little bit full, but gets a friendly bounce off the sidewall to just leave the triangle right. Scally's big fill here. Ball drifts just a bit onto the two pin for a tough three fill. Josh all over it for his fifth spare of the game. He is on a roll right now. Scally looking to clean the ball up and see if he can get off to the right of the three pin now. The head pin in the triangle right. Looking to see at least if he can get a nine out of this. And he is all over it for a big nine. Justin Scally 85 through eight. Josh Daly 107 and a ball through eight. The lead early on is 25 for team Barber and Daly. Daly's fill in the eight. All over the head pin again, but a tough break. He's the five, seven, eight. Scally looking to get back on the head pin. All over, but a little full, and a two-two split for him. Josh trying to send it over. The wood did not want to cooperate, but a great bit there by Josh Daly. Scally looking to shoot his from side to side. Gets half to go. Josh for the 10. And misses. Scally looking to get his 10. This gains a pin back here for his team. And he gets it. Josh won 23 through 9. Scally 95 through 9. The deficit right now is 31. We have this is the first of five games here tonight, live from Academy Lanes. Hope you'll stay with us for the long haul because this is going to be a shootout, that's for sure. Josh Daly's first ball in the 10th. Back on the head pin, but a little full. He's a 3-1 split. Scally looking to get something going here. Off again. Four horsemen left, plus the triangle right. Friendly piece of wood sitting behind. Just has to shoot the horseman and should get the wood to take the triangle. Josh looking to shoot that over. He gets the wood to go, but doesn't want to take the seven, and the short pin falls off the deck before it can take it. Scally all over the head pin, but not enough to get anything going. Josh looking for a big 10 to, make, to add to his big game. And a 10 there for a nice 133 start for Josh Daly. Scally looking to clean his up for a 10. And a rough one, six there to end it. 101 game for Justin Scally there. 133 for Josh Daly. We're on to the, the back two of these guys. Dave Barber on the right, Jeff Walsh on the left, and no marks here. We're going to pass you back to Jeff Little for the, the second half. Thank you, Corey. All right, we are now ready for the uh, second half of uh, game one. Dave is on lane 36. Just a little to the right. Jeff is on lane 35. A little skip ball. Hits the pocket, leaves a split. Dave hits his object pin, leaves uh, three pins up. Jeff, beautiful attempt at a spare. Dave with a nice 10. Jeff with a nine. Dave right in the pocket. Jeff a little full in the pocket, leaves a split. Always 
he gonna get it? Oh. Jeff just, just missed his chance at the spare. Dave with another 10. Jeff with an eight right now. Jeff is at 72 after seven. Dave is at 78 after seven. Right now, Dave and Josh are up 211 to 173. Dave with an absolute hammer. Jeff tried to match it. Has a makeable spare here though. And right on it for a spare. Jeff is at 82 in a ball after eight. Uh, Dave is at 88 and two balls. Dave here working on a strike. He was right. He was a little bit on the head pin. Leave himself a uh, little bit of a split, but not a bad leave, though, for a spare opportunity here for Dave. What a shot by Dave. I said it, I said it was a very makeable, not a makeable spare, but a good opportunity as a spare, and he definitely capitalized on it. Jeff hit it where he wanted to, just the 10 pin didn't want to fall. So he's gonna be trying for a 10. He got a six on his spare. And Jeff gets a nine. He has a 97 after nine. Dave has a 108 and a ball right now after nine. Dave right in the pocket. Absolute missile. Jeff in the pocket leaves a 2-1 split. Nice bid by Jeff right there. Jeff with a nine. Finishes that game with a 106. They're at Total is a 207 right now after one. Dave is working on his strike right now. Wow. Absolute missile for a double. Going for the triple. And he fought, he followed on there. Still a great game though. 138, he just couldn't keep his balance. Must have touched the line. I couldn't see it from here, but he called it no good. That was a great game by Dave. Great, great game. And here is Corey. So a quick look at that game. Uh, we had some, some great bowling there, great finish there by Dave Barber. And Scally and Josh are gonna get right back to it, but a quick look at, at some of the stats there. Head pin hits, uh, the, the strikes there just came late for, for Dave. But a quick seven, uh, 64 pin lead for Daly and Barber. Scally right back to it. Barber loosened up the lanes there and Scally was ready take advantage Why? before I even had a chance to get the scoreboard reset. Scally big head pin hit, strike. Josh with a head pin hit himself. And a big spare there for Josh Daly. Scally looking to repeat that ball. No strikes until the end to for Barber, and then now they're flowing. Scally with his first to start the game, looking for a double. 
Off to the right and three for the half Worcester. Bailey looking for a big fill. All over it for looking for a strike bid, but just the eight remains. Didn't want to go. Scally looking to come back for his fill. And a big ball there to get back for a nice seven fill on the strike. Josh looking to clean up for a second spare. And miss, but it goes. Friendly bounce for Josh off the wall. Yeah. And Scally cleans his up for a big 10. <laughs> Blue Gacharn in the chat with the foul siren. Pins are loosening up here in early on in game two. Scally looking to get back on the head pin after a tough half Worcester on his first ball last, and he does. And great nine drop, just leaves the 10. Josh on his fill. Off to the right, friendly bounce, five fill there. One, five, four, one, four, five, seven, eight there for a five fill. Scally looking to run his pin down and a tough piece of wood prevented that from going. Josh just a little full, just plucks two of them. Scally looking to clean up for a 10. And he gets it that time. Josh looking for his and gets a nine out of that. So Scally and Walsh just looking to chip away early in game two. Josh trying to stop them in their tracks. Scally's first ball box four. Off to the right again. He's the four horseman left and the 10 pin. Josh, back on the head pin, leaves the 5-8. Scott looking to see, a friendly piece of wood, looking to see if he can get this to move. And just misses the head pin. Now the wood did help, but couldn't hit the head pin, so that's the only one remaining. Josh for his spare. Off to the right, just leaves the king. Scally looking to clean up for a 10. Off to the right for a nine box. And Josh buries his for his 10. 53 through four for Josh, 46 through four for Scally. Looking to sit on marks here as every bowler is when they get to the fifth box. They want to know they have a ball in hand when they're coming up for the second half when the game is on the line. Especially when you face a 271, your first game, you need to make sure you can gain as many pins as possible. Scally's first ball, box five, off to the right again. Tough break there for Scally. Josh, first ball, all over the head pin, looking to mix. Nice eight drop there. Looking to sit on a spare. Scally looking to see if he can correct and get something going. Back over the head pin, a little full. I thought it would do more than that. Didn't want to leave anything too, too split to try and clean up for a 10. Josh with a spare. And he missed the spot again. Just leaves the king. Looking to clean up for a 10. And Scally with a tough seven box there. Josh, big 10. So I only showed it briefly, so I'll show it between boxes here. Got some bowler stats there, courtesy of Micah's spreadsheet here. Head pin hits, Scally was on the head pin five out of 10 times, Walsh eight out of 10 times. Barber and Josh, seven of 10 for Barber, nine of 10 for Josh Daly, and it shows in their scores. Back to live action here, and here's Jeff Little. Thank you again, Corey. <laughs> Jeff, a little off the head pin right there. Dave, a little off the head pin too. Dave has a, a nice leave though. Jeff put the ball right where he wanted to, but at least three. Dave makes his spare. Jeff with a nine right now. We're in, we're in game two right now. Jeff getting ready to throw on lane uh, 36 here at Academy Lanes. 
Jeff a little off again, over to the left again. Dave with the bounce ball. Gets a six fill on his spare. Beautiful try by Jeff on uh, lane 36. Dave just goes through the hole. <laughs> Jeff with a nice 10. Dave with a nice nine. Jeff getting ready to throw in uh, lane 36 here. Again, just off to the left. Dave, little full on the head pin, but leaves a split, 3-2. Jeff with a beautiful ball for a spare. Dave hit his object. Dave with the nine. Jeff with a 29 and a ball after three. Dave with a 34 after three. Jeff right in the pocket with a nice seven fill. Dave just a little off the head pin, leaves the four horsemen. Jeff, Jeff knew it right when he threw it. Dave picks up the four horsemen. Beautiful shot by Dave. <laughs> Nine for Jeff. <laughs> hey, buddy. Rio's in the house. Jeff getting ready to throw in lane uh, 36 here. Beautiful ball right in the pocket. Dave right in the pocket. Nice eight. Nice eight fill by Dave. <laughs> Beautiful shot by Jeff on 36. And Dave makes his spare two on lane 35. So I will give you back to Corey right now for the next half. Thanks, Jeff. We'll get back to the scoreboard there for Josh and Scally. No marks here for Scally or Daly. Daly looking to get back on the head pin. He's had a four out of five in the first half on the head pin. He can get back to it. He does on his first ball. Great ball, but tough break. Just leaves the 8-9. Friendly piece of wood. Scally looking back on the head pin. All over it in the same split. Mirror images there. Same split, different side. And Scally, Scally really trying to study this one. Josh thought he had a nice piece of wood. Did not sit for him. Scattles looking to see if he can send this piece of wood over. Not sure which way he's going to play it. He tries to tap the wood. Just skates by it. Josh looking for a big 10. All over it. Scally looking to at least get a 9 out of this. Scally right on the wood to grab the 9. It's the play to make the pin. Especially when you're chasing. You don't want to do anything crazy yet. It's only game 2. It is a big deficit as of right now, but not insurmountable with how good these bowlers are. Josh looking to stay on the head pin, off left. Only a second head pin miss of the game. So one, three, seven, eight, Scally. Way off right for a lemon drop. Oh, Paul's not watching. 
Josh has a makeable shot here if he stays on the left side of the head pin. Should take out the 1-3, and the wood should, in theory, take out the 7-8. Just skates by the head pin. He knew he didn't miss by much. Scatter looking for the comeback ball here, and still off to the right. Half Worcester there. His teammate Jeff Walsh giving a little bit of a razz there. And a big 10 for Josh. Scatter looking to get a huge out here. And moves way right for a six box. If the wood takes anything else, no. Tough six box there for Scally. Puts him at just a 68 through seven. Not bowling like his usual capabilities up there. Josh looking to get back on the head pin, as he has been all game. Oh, right through the middle, is on the head pin, just a bit full. Leaves the spread eagle minus a seven. Scally back on the head pin. Similar result, little full. Um, he gets a couple more pins to fall, and there's a tough split there. Josh looking to send something flying. Takes out the three. We have a good lead, you just want a pin at the same time, so you had to be sure of those three. Scally here, I think he's gonna try and get the wood to bounce off the wall. It's really the only shot he has at it. A little too far right, then I would have played it. Uh, Josh for a 10, all over it. This guy looking to clean this up for this, a seven pin for a 10 box. And skates by right side. Scally with two boxes left to go in game two here really wants to get to get something going. He has to build on something for the final three. Um, and Josh just has to keep keep pinning away. Just keep up with Scally, the lead they've they've already built after after just a game and almost two games. Uh, they're up 87. So they just want to just keep up with their opponents. Josh off the head pin again. Uh, is the one, two, four. Scally. Off to the left, and another tough, tough break for Scally. Nothing moving for him. Josh trying to get back on the headband for a spare box here. And all over it. Scally looking for a comeback ball here, see if he can get back in the pocket. He does, and just leaves a little baby split there, see if he can get at least, wants at least a nine, hope for a 10 out of it, if he can cap the piece of wood. Takes the nine box. Way to take the sure thing. Rough start here for Justin Scally in his first two. Definitely not the way he wanted to start. Um, but there's plenty of bowling left for Justin Scally. He will not go down without a fight. Josh's fill ball. Back all over the head pin. Full there. He's a 2 4 10. Nice seven fill for Josh. Scally back on the head pin and another tough split. Story of the night so far for, for Jeff Walsh and Justin Scally. If they do get to find that head pin, which Jeff did a lot last game, they are not getting much to show for it. Scally right through the goalposts. Football season is right around the corner. And Daly with a beautiful 10 box there. That's where he wanted to hit it the first time. He's mad he didn't. Scally, there's, that's where he wanted to hit it. Big 10 box there for Scally. And a rough 96 game. Josh is 120. Uh, early lead here for Team Barber and Daly is 95 after full game and then half of the, of the first two going here. Walsh and Barber both working on spares. This is anybody's game for, for the two of them. We're going to pass it back to Jeff Little for the second half. Thank you again, Corey. Dave with a uh, six fill on his spare. Jeff with a four fill on his spare. Dave hits his object, just leaves one. Jeff hit his object, leaves three. <laughs> Dave with the 10. Jeff with the 10. Right now, Jeff has uh, 69 after six. Dave has 78 after six. Josh and Dave are up by right now.
Jeff with a beautiful ball in lane 35. Dave, just a little bit off. Just slid by, just, just slid by. Day, Jeff with the uh, spare, picked up the uh, seven pin. Dave with a nice out for a nine. Jeff with a 79 and a ball after seven. Dave with an 87 after seven. Dave getting ready to throw here on lane 36. Just a little off the head pin, but that's a nice makeable spare for him. Jeff just misses the head pin, gets a uh, four fill. Dave with a beautiful shot. Like I said, that was a makeable spare for Dave. Jeff just misses uh, right. He's got five pins standing still. Wants to clean this up for a nice out. And that's a tough six. <laughs> he's gonna wanna bounce back from that six and I know he will. Uh, he's got an 89 after eight. Dave has a 97 in the ball, working on a fill right here on lane 36. Beautiful ball by Dave, right in the pocket. Nice little nine pin drop. Um, Jeff in the pocket, leaves three. Dave just wants to be a little high oh, Perfect. He wanted to be high on that piece of wood, and he was. That was a beautiful, beautiful shot by Dave. Jeff with a nice spare right there. Nice little bounce back from the six box right there by Jeff. That's a 99 and a ball after nine for Jeff. That's a 116 and a ball for Dave. Dave working on his uh, fill here on lane 36 here at Academy Lanes. There was no foot follow there. That was a beautiful strike right there by Dave. That was a uh, four field by Jeff. Beautiful, beautiful try by Jeff right there on that spare. Just could not get to the 10 pin right there. And Jeff gets a nine in that. And he finishes with a 112 for Jeff. They have a 208 for that game. Dave is uh, right now at 126 and then two balls. Just a little off. Leaves the uh, four horsemen. Beautiful nine fill for Dave. What a game for Dave, 145. He is on fire right now here at Academy Lanes. And it should be no surprise because this guy just won the outrun the bear scratch singles. So, and I will give it back to Corey for uh, game three. See here, stats through two, 283 for Dave Barber, 253 for Josh. Dave averaging a 141 through two games here. Scally's first ball, I'm gonna get that back to you, just wanna give you a second to see the stats there. Scally did find the head pin. I'm gonna get you set up for the next game here. It's gonna yell at me for a second, sorry. Hit the wrong button. Sorry if the computer sounds are loud, I tried to, to mute the desktop audio. Scally with the head pin hit. Josh looking to get his spare. Takes it and throws it into Scally's lane. Didn't hit anything. No harm, no foul there. And Scally looking to get at least a nine. Skates by everything for a very tough seven. 283 is I, that is for sure. I don't know, somebody have to look back. What was what was Sarge at after two yesterday? Because uh, might have might have been might have been close. This guy looking to stay on the head pin. Didn't get a good break, but if you just gotta live there and hope that pins start to break up. 
And Scally with a huge ball there, and that's what I'm talking about. Gets right back into the mark side with a big strike. Josh trying to match, and he does. Strike on spare. Wow, for Josh Daly. The, st the strikes are starting to flow. And you, you had to figure, with this, this caliber of bowler up there, you knew that these guys were going to start marking up like crazy. Scally looking for a double, and he gets it. Big double there for Justin Scally. Josh looking to see if he can match with a double of his own. I know we're supposed to be biased or anything like that, but that's awesome that Scally did that. Yeah, he's been struggling in this game, these last two games. This will hopefully get him going. Josh looking to match, and he buries the pocket, but nothing to show for it. Five, eight, nine, ten. Friendly piece of wood there. At least that helps. Um, but he threw a much better ball than that. But this is the kind of breaks that that Jeff and Scally were getting the first couple games. Josh looking to send it over. What a beautiful shot. Somebody clip that in the chat because that's going to look good on Candle Open Chat later. Scally looking to not foot foul on a triple attempt. Scally's third ball here. Back in the pocket. Get a mix. And a triple strike for Justin Scally. And Josh. And there's Josh's. Josh should have had a triple as well. What a start for both of these bowlers here in game number three. Justin Scally with a triple strike here. Give me a moment to catch up on the scoreboard because uh, there's a lot of X's to put in now. All right, so Scally at a 67 plus a ball, plus two balls, looking for four. And back on the head pin again. Just an eight drop out of that. Josh just skates by the head pin. This is some fast and furious action going on right now, guys. Scally for a big spare there, and what a way to sit. If you are Justin Scally, Josh looking to get his and just misses the seven pin. He sure did. Yeah, it's um, it's good to see things coming to life for Justin Scally. Ten box there for Josh Daly. I'm gonna make sure I have the scoring correct here because that was intense. Um, Pass you over to Jeff Little. I got no words for that other than wow. I don't know if I could uh, top that at all. That was impressive right there. A 95 half and a ball for Justin Scally at 89 half for Josh. Holy cow. Let's see what we can go on right here. Nice half. Hey, beautiful half, buddy. Great job. Nice All right, now we got Jeff here on uh, lane 36 right now. Dave is a little off to the left. Jeff is a little off to the left. Jeff is a little off to the left again, but he'll figure it out. Dave. Beautiful second ball right there. That is a nice nine for Jeff. And that's a nine for Dave right now. I'm gonna try to do what Corey just did and have like that amazing half to call, but we will see what happens here. Jeff with the bounce ball right there. Dave just a little off the uh, head pin. Back on the left side again. Oh, what a bid by Jeff right there. Dave hit his object, but leaves the split. He's got a 3-2 right now. Jeff with a nice 10. Dave with a tough six. 
Jeff with a 19 after two. Dave with a 15 after two. We're in game three here at Academy Lanes, Pub 125, Haverhill, Massachusetts. Jeff right in the pocket. Leaves two up. Dave just a little off to the right side this time. Leaves a 2-2 split. Nice spare there by Jeff. He didn't think it was gonna go, but nice shot by him. Beautiful shot by Dave. Beautiful shot by Dave right there. Jeff, uh, 29 right now in a ball. Going for his spare fill right here on lane 36. Right, right in the pocket and a hammer time. Dave with a two fill, leaves the half Worcester. What, what a beautiful bid by Dave there on lane 35. What a bid. That's a nice 10 there by uh, Dave right there. Anytime you can get a 10 out of the, out of the half Worcester, you'll take it. 49 and two balls here for Jeff. Let's see what he does here on lane 36. Just a little off, but he leaves you the uh, four horsemen. Dave right in the pocket. Has a single up there for a spare opportunity. Jeff just, just, just misses the four horsemen. But that's a nice 19. Dave would have picked up a single for a spare. Nice 10 for Jeff right there. 68 half for Jeff. Dave with a 47 and a ball. And I will give you back to the voice of Corey. Here you go. Thank you, Jeff. And of course, Scally trying to keep up with that half he just had. So is Josh. Uh, Lost, lost in Scally's triple spare to finish as Josh Daly sitting at 89 half and trailing by six plus a ball to Justin Scally at the turn. But this is a 10 frame match, not a five. So we'll see what the second half can bring for both these bowlers. Josh first ball back on the head pin. Scally's fill here. Just drops it left for a tough two fill. Sometimes you have a big half like that, you get yourself a little overhyped there, Josh. Runs that down for a spare to start his second half. This guy looking for a comeback here. Right back on it. Right back on it. Touches the seven, but doesn't want to go. Great bid there. Looking to pluck the seven pin for a 10 box here and keep his good game alive. And he just gets it. Touches the wood that takes out the pin. 107 through 6 for Scally, that is correct. 107 through 6, 99 through 6 for Josh Daly. Josh looking for a big fill here to at least catch Scally so far. All over the head pin for a 9, and what a fill there for Josh. Josh looking to pluck the 10 pin, does have wood. If he misses, miss may, way left, but looking for a spare and drops it into the gutter. Scally looking to pluck the triangle, take out the triangle here. He, he hits it and everything dances, doesn't want to go, Josh. For a big 10 box. As one announcer might say, the Paul Grant special. Miss the second, make the third. Scally for a 10, all over it. King of the North, Calvin Locke in the chat. Check out Ripping the Rack podcast. Every other Tuesday is when it gets released. I believe Mo Monday Night Lives, Tuesday Night Release, wherever you listen to your podcast. Josh, back over the head pin, 2-2 split there. Scally, 
Back on the head pin for another strike bid and just leaves the king. One too many buttons there. Josh looking to split. Just cherries one. Scally for a spare. Big spare there for Justin Scally. Oop, wrong side. Eight box there for Daly. Spare for Scally. These guys are exchanging the lead back and forth, back and forth. Josh's first ball here in the ninth. Off to the right. Tough break there. Scally looking for a big fill to capitalize. Back on the head pin. Great ball, great seven fill, tough leave. But the way he's throwing the ball right now, it could go. Josh looking to correct. Gets back on, but a little full. Little team discussion there about how he wants to approach this shot. Again, you can try and bounce the wood to sweep, or you can try and cut the pin. My guess, take advantage of the wood, and it takes it. Just like that. Josh looking for a big out here. Just plucks one for an eight box. That was a beautiful shot by Read perfectly. That's some, why sometimes you got to take that extra minute, discuss it with your teammate, how you think it should be played. It worked out, and as you heard, you might have heard Walsh in the in the background say, "Just like that." Josh looking to get something going here in the tenth. Says something going with the 134 game through nine, and again buries the pocket, but nothing to show for it at all. Scally's fill ball just skates by the head pin for a five fill. Puts him at 149 through nine. Makeable spare. Josh has to cut a pin over, and he does. What a shot from Josh Daly there. This is an absolute clinic. Scally off to the right. Takes two out of the five he was going for. Looking to get, here you want to either get eight or nine. If you get the 10, great. But you want to at least get eight or nine out of this. And he brushes past the head pin for a seven. But an outstanding 156 game for Justin Scally. Tough start for him, but he came back in a big way. Uh, Josh looking to fill here and kind of minimize the damage. He is at a 144 through 10 himself. And a head pin hit for Josh and a nine drop out of that. Was very full, but got some friendly breaks there. And he ends with a 153 game. What an outstanding match there between Josh Daly and Justin Scally. Absolute clinic on hitting spares and throwing strikes. Jeff, let's see if we can get some, uh, some action on the back end from Dave and Jeff here. That was unbelievable. Unbelievable right there. Scally throws a 156. Josh throws a 153. All right, now we are going on lane 36, Dave at a four fill. <coughs> oh, what a try for 10 right there by Dave. Jeff with an eight right there. Jeff has a 76 after six. Dave has a 60 after six. What I just witnessed and what Corey just called was unbelievable. Dave with the uh, half whister. Jeff just a little off the head pin. He leaves a decent leave for a spare opportunity. Jeff just misses it, and he knows it. Dave with a uh, tough six right there. Jeff with an 86 after seven. Dave with a 66 after seven.
Dave right in the pocket. Leaves three. Jeff leaves three. Jeff has a piece of wood, though. Kind of angled. Dave all over it. Yeah, I knew that piece of wood was going to be tough for, for Jeff right there. The way it was angled, I had a feeling it was going to do something that wasn't going to help him. And a nice 10 for Jeff right there. 96 for Jeff after 8. 76 and a fill for Dave right now in the 8th box. Just a little off the head pin, but what a nice leave right there for Dave. <coughs> Just leaves the head pin. Just missed it. Just slid right by. Jeff going here for a nice uh, spare, fill, spare shot right here. Just a little full on it. Dave with the nine right there. Jeff with a 10. Jeff with a 106 after nine. Dave with a 94 after nine. Right now, Scally and Jeff are winning this game. But are down a lot right now for total. That was a nice try by Dave right there. He hit his object. Only thing you can do is just hit your object there. I don't know how that stayed up. Jeff hit his object exactly where he wanted to. Dave with an eight right there. Dave with a 102, you really see him throw a 102. Jeff with a 10 for a 106, uh, 116, sorry. Uh, 272 to 255, Jeff's team took that one. But they got some work to do to bounce back here to get into this match. Uh, we're on to game four, and here is Corey with the call for game four, the first half. Here you go, Corey. Thanks, Jeff. As you see on the screen, bowl, all the bowlers here are, are all over the head pin. Uh, Scally with a big comeback there, and it's tough when you don't actually gain anything back when you throw a 156. You gain three pins back when you already have a pretty sizable deficit. Uh, back on the head pin there, Josh back on the head pin. Um, so that he's trying, but when you get somebody like Josh Daly up against you that throws a 153 to your 156, that's, you can't play defense in bowling. And you could, but it's frowned upon. Josh with a nice bid there. Scally come back looking to see if he can shoot the 710 if that piece of wood sits nice. The way he throws his ball right to left with that hook, May be able to shoot that piece of wood over into the 10. And he misses everything for an 8. Josh looking for his 10 box. Gets it. So after three full strings, it is a 104 pin lead after three. After that box, it's now a 106 pin lead for Team Daly and Barber. Uh, the, the slow start for Scally and Walsh just did not uh, help in this situation, especially when you had Dave Barber bowling out of his mind the first two and Josh follows it up at the end Scally with another great head pin hit in the pocket there just leaves a seven Josh matches tries to get it to fall in just leaves the four pin there both bowlers great pocket hits Scally looking to hit his seven pin no wood to obscure it here to block it out for the spare and he knew it, you could hear the groan as soon as he let it go that it wasn't gonna make it over. Josh with a plank, helps him out there. Big spare for Josh Daly. Justin Scally looking to grab the 10. And skates by the other side, makes a little over adjustment. Here, you got two games left here. It's a tough, tough lead to face but you want to just try and, and chip away, see whatever you can do. Scally, first ball, back in the pocket. And they all go that time. Big strike for Justin Scally. Josh 
all over the head pin. A little full, but he gets the split to break up into a nine drop. Scally does like lane 36 a lot. Nine fill for Josh and another spare. Josh Daly. Anytime Scally tries to get something going, Josh is there with an answer. That's the competitive drive you see in some of these pro bowlers. Anything you can do, I can do better mentality. Scally looking to get back in the pocket again. He does, little full. Josh looking for a big fill on his spare. He's back in the pocket, full again, breaks, almost broke up the split. Six, seven, ten for Josh. Scally looking to shoot that over. And, oh, skates by the back of the pins, but a great eight fill out of that first head pin hit. Josh looking to split the wood, and the ball comes back and takes it. That's well-trained bowling balls right there. He, there is no quit in Josh Daly when this is going. He smells blood in the water. He's not going to stop. The 10 box there for Scally. Both bowlers four for four on the head pin. Looking to keep that going, see if Scally can get back in that pocket again and get a friendlier break. And back in a little bit off, just skated by the head pin. On the two, Josh for a big fill. Back on the head pin, trying to drop 10, but the eight doesn't want to go. Another great nine fill there. One to hit for his fourth spare in a row. Scally just misses the head pin to the left. Josh for another spare. The piece of wood didn't want to cooperate. A little bit to the left on that wood, he would have had it. Went too far right. Scally for a big out. And big 10 for Scally. No, no, no 95 half. No 95 half. Back to earth for both bowlers there. Great half for, for Josh Daly. Five for five on the head pin. Should have been four marks in a row, but a unfriendly piece of wood. And Jeff, let's see if these bowlers can, can match what the bowlers did in the first game here. That would be nice. I mean, you've called some um, unbelievable spares and strikes here. I mean, I've called some nice spares and strikes here too, so this has been a great match though. Jeff with a lemon drop. <coughs> Dave with the 1-5. He might want to follow there, I guess. <laughs> Jeff to the right right now. Dave trying to clean up this 1-5 uh, here. That's, that is a beautiful bid right there by Dave. Jeff with a 7 box. Dave with a 9 box. Jeff just a little off the head pin right there. What a ball by Dave on lane 35. That thing was a missile. Jeff put the ball exactly where you want to put it. Just could not get that other pin to carry. Jeff is uh, waiting for the wood because by rule you have to wait for the wood to make sure it stops. But he will take a nine right there. He has uh, 16 after two. Dave has 19 after two, but he has a strike to fill right now. Jeff right in the pocket. Leaves a split. He has a piece of wood, though. That could help him. Um, he almost has the cap and hits the wood at the same time. Like that. Basically, just like that. Just 
The way Corey said that was perfect. That was a beautiful shot by Jeff on lane 36. <coughs> Dave with an 8 fill right there on his strike. Dave with a 9 box right there. Jeff is at 26 on the ball after 3. Dave is at 36 after 3. Jeff and Scally, though, got to start getting some marks going to get back into this game. See if it starts right here with this fill. Jeff, right, right where you want to throw it. He was right in the pocket. Nice seven fill right there by Jeff. Dave a little bit to the right. Leaves a little bit of a cluster right there. Jeff with a nice spare right there. Dave just a little off. Leaves the head pin. Dave with a nine right there. He's got a 49 after four. Jeff with a 43 and a ball after four. Like I said, Corey, if they can get just keep stringing some marks and they don't string marks on the other side, that's what they need to get this back going. Beautiful ball by Jeff right there. <coughs> that's a nice nine fill right there. Dave just a little off. Jeff going for three in a row right here. Oh yeah, even with the bounce ball. Dave with a nice bid right there for the spare. Dave going for the 10 right here. And he gets it. Jeff with a 62 on a ball. Half, Dave with a 55 half. Now we are gonna give you right back to uh, Corey for the Call of Justin and Josh's half. Thanks, Jeff. And as we've been saying, Josh is on a tear. Scally and Walsh trying to build everything they can. They're throwing a great ball all night. They started to break up here towards towards the back the last two games. But it's just the lead that was built by Daly and Barber first two has just been so tough. And when you have Josh Daly throwing 75 halves back and forth, he needed to gain a lot more than uh, what they've been gaining. Daly's first ball, second half. Back in the pocket again. Nice eight drop there for him. Scally just off the head pin. And this is where he doesn't want to be. This is where what gave him some trouble early on, just skating by that head pin. Josh looking for another mark here. All over it. Big spare there from Josh Daly. It's not over. It's never officially over till it's over, but it is uh, getting close. They're going to have to string something crazy together in order to have a shot here. Scally looking for a big out. And just plucks one for a seven box. Uh, in completed boxes is a 120 pin lead for Josh and Dave. Uh, so again, Scally and Walsh are going to have to pull out something crazy in these last... Uh, 19 team boxes here. Josh on the fill. Big ball, and will the seven go? It does. Strike fill there for Josh Daly. Scally off the other side of the head pin. Half Worcester on the right side. Josh is seven for seven on the head pin. Scally looking to come back and give it a bid here for the half Worcester. He's on it, can we take the 10? It just won't. What a great bid there from Justin Scally. Looking to clean it up for a 10. All over it, big 10 box there. Like I said, coming into this half, it really stems from Josh Daly and what he's been doing. Scally doesn't matter what he does, Josh has an answer. Sitting here on a strike, 105 and two balls in the seventh box here. Looking to come back with another strike ball. See if he can get back in the pocket here. Looks like we have some lane issues here. 
Obviously can't be up there for the chat. Having some, uh, another reset here on 35. Not 100% sure what happened, some sort of lane malfunction. Josh, right back to it, back in the pocket. Oh, back on the head pin, very full. So he is still perfect on the head pin, but a spread eagle is never something you want to see after a beautiful head pin hit. Scally off the head pin. Does get it to go though, and just leaves a 7-9. Josh, just pinning at this point, you know you know you have the game in hand. You just want to get what you can out of it. Pin, pin, pin. Scally looking for a beautiful big shot here. Woods sitting decent to help. Gonna go way left, and it did win it. Did not the way I thought it was gonna go, but it did go. Josh, big 10 box there off the spread eagle. My thought, watching it from back here, Scally was gonna have to go way left on that piece of wood to try and get it to, to spin. I didn't think it was gonna helicopter the way it did, but he's uh, he knows how his ball works. He knows how the pins are gonna fly, so there's a great shot there from Scally. Josh looking to stay perfect on the head pin, and he is, will it go? Just leaves the half Worcester on the left side. Scally, big fill, back on the head pin, six fill there. Josh looking to push this back for another mark this game. And he does. He gets the wood to cooperate for another spare here for Josh Daly. He is on fire. Scally looking to check up, and he's off right. It's, he is good. Yeah, he's, he's fine. Which kills me because I learned I, when I coached the kids' league, that was, he was the one who first Scally looking for a 10. When I, when I coached for Mason, he's was got like, it. He's going to be ridiculous. He's going to be ridiculous. He's going to be ridiculous. Josh Daly, 132 and a ball through nine. Justin Scally, 98 through nine. Josh looking to see if he can get this one into the 50s again. Nine, Phil will do that. And that is his first miss this game of the head pin. First miss. He's going to redo, too. So he keeps the fill, but Keep. he's going to redo the box, right? Phil remains, but the box is all over. So we've only seen this happen once, and it was a Nico. I've seen this happen another time in Nico handicap. So he gets the six Phil, but he does have to redo the box. So this is technically his first ball, but the Phil will stand. As a lane malfunction, so the Phil will stand, but he does redo the entire box. So he could have a six Phil, but a strike in this box. And that's when things get interesting. And he is back on the head pin. Eight drop there, so it will be a six fill. Could potentially get the spare out of it. Scally back on the head pin. A another tough split. And I, you know what? Just for the sake of that was his first ball. I'm giving him credit for a head pin hit. And he splits it. What a shot there from Josh Daly for another spare. He's absolutely a machine. I know they call him a destroyer, but he is right now Everything. Scally looking to match. Can't get the wood to fly over. 148 and a ball for Josh Daly. Scally looking to pluck his 10 for a 108 game. And he does. And Scally didn't throw that bad of a ball. Just Scally threw a great ball. Just nothing um, was, nothing, nothing was breaking. Ball yep. Nothing 5 out of 10 on the head pin. Josh's fill ball. Back on the head pin again, so we'll definitely give him the credit there. 7 fill and a 155 game. That is a 153 followed up by a 155 for Josh Daly. Uh, puts him at 561 through four games. Great job there for Josh Daly. Uh, it, that gives the lead to them. That puts the lead up to 144 pins, which should be nearly insurmountable. Jeff, here you go here for the back half of game four. And while Corey was handing me the mic, Dave decided to throw a strike. <laughs> Jeff on the uh, spare fill gets a seven fill. Jeff hit it where he was supposed to hit it, just the pins didn't want to cooperate right there. The pins are definitely cooperating for Josh, though. <laughs> what does he have after four, Corey? 
He is a 561 after four. Dave on the strike fill. He was in the pocket, but he leaves a little split right there. Jeff uh, on the head pin. Leaves a makeable spare right there for him. Oh, nice try by Dave right there. That's a nice uh, seven fill though for a strike. Jeff all over it for a spare. Dave with a seven box. Jeff with an 87 on the ball. Dave with a 79 after seven. Jeff with an 87 on the ball after seven. Corey, whatever they keep doing, Jeff and Scally keep trying and trying and trying. Josh and Dave have an answer for him every time. Beautiful ball there by Jeff, though, for a strike. Sorry, Kathy, I just realized that and slid it over. What a shot by Dave for a spare right there. What a shot. You guys are watching some amazing bowling right now. These are the best of the best right here. Dave right in the pocket. He's a 2-1 split, but that's a nice uh, seven fill. <clears throat> Jeff just a little off, but he has another ball because he was working on a strike. Dave hit where he hit his object, so. Jeff hit the head pin, maybe wanted to be a little bit less full, but he gets a nice eight, eight fill on a strike. Dave with a nine, Jeff with a nine. Jeff with a 124, Dave with a 105 after nine. But right now the story is, uh, is Josh. He has just been unbelievable, unbelievable. Dave just goes right through the head pin. Jeff just a little off the head pin on the right side. Leaves the Caleri. Dave with a nice bid right there. Looking for a nice out. Jeff with a beautiful shot right there. Beautiful shot. Dave with a nice nine to out right there. 114 for Dave. Jeff is at uh, 134 in a ball right here. Nice Phil Hill be in the 140s. Oh. That's my fault, guys. 139 right there. Hey, he threw the ball where you want to throw it. And we are now on to uh, game four here, and let's see what Josh can do. Because he has been the story. So I will give you to Corey right now for the first half of Justin Scally and Josh Daly. Here you go, Corey. Thanks, Jeff. Let me get this out of the way here. Scally's first ball. Just off the pocket, but does get the head pin to go. Leaves a 7-10. Josh back all over it. Tough splits for both bowlers. Spread eagle for Josh Daly. 7-10 for Justin Scally with a piece of wood above the foul line in the back deck. For those of you that are new to Candlepin Bowling, uh, bowlers say it's the light that determines where the, that is, but there is a line on most decks. If the wood rolls past the line, it does have to be removed, as Dave Barber just did. That gives Scally a, bit, a little better of a shot at the 710. He does have an angled piece of wood and sitting on a cap. Kind of hit where those two meet. You might be able to take both of them. Let's see what he can do. Just like that, and there it goes. I'm really good at knowing where to play shots. I'm not very good at getting them to go. Josh looking for that strike ball again, but he already got the head pin, so right through the middle. And 
Josh through the middle again in a tough four box to start. This is this is where you, you gotta hope that Josh, if Josh can have nine more of those and Scally can pop off, we got ourselves a game here. Unfortunately, the, the lead that was amassed by Dave and Josh is extreme, so it's gonna take something funky to happen to get this thing close. Scally's fill ball. Back on the head pin and leaves a check mark on the right side. Six fill there. Josh off the head pin, but a good spin and piece of wood. Just leaves the one eight. Scally looking to check it up and just off. Josh looking to drive the head pin back. Piece of wood to help. And the piece of wood, he was too off on it to get the wood to help. It rolls back, but not enough. Looking for a 10 here. Scally gets his 10. Jeff, Jeff, did you tell him this is 10 games? Josh with the nine there. And as as Matt Grace said in the chat, I wasn't going to say it. As Josh Daly was standing in front of me, we are on 700 watch for Josh Daly. He needs a 139 for a 700. Scally right down the middle. Leaves the spread eagle minus the 10, but adds in the eight pin. Josh back on the head pin for a hammer. Josh cannot be stopped tonight. Even when he gets a four box, he comes back two boxes later with a beautiful strike. Scally with the bid there. Just leaves the left side. And tough seven box there for Justin Scally. Uh, after four, Kathy, Josh was at a 561. He needs a 139. Sorry. Okay. We can't say it too loud for Josh. We, did, we saw what the announcer's curse did before. Scally back on the head pin, but very light. It leaves a very funky leave. Had the lights flicker there. I don't know if that was the whole house or just these two lanes, but either way, we're just going to make sure. Josh is going to run through a reset cycle here. I think they might have turned off the wrong two lanes. That may have been what happened. They turned off. Now we're missing the 10 pin, it looks like. See what little bit of a lane delay. Josh is going to. Josh Daly is going to give it another reset, see if that, that helps. Uh, if not, we'll grab Josh to burrow. We'll have to run back there and give us a repair. All right, it's going to go through the reset cycle again. Let's see if we get all 10 pins this time. Just what you need, Josh throws a great ball like that, and now he gets iced by the machine. 4, 5, 7, 9, 10 left for Scally. What a tough, tough leave there off a head pin hit. Josh Daly looking to come back after his beautiful hammer ball. Let's see what he can do a double. Back on it for a double. There it is. He's long overdue for that. Scally looking to make something work for him. And just plucks the two in the middle. And Scally with a great nine box there. We have seen a lot of strikes tonight. I, we are not bowling in Millis. This is not Ryan's family amusement. This is Academy Lanes in Haverhill. Justin Sky looking to get back on the head pin again and hopefully get a friendly break this time. He's in there, he's on it, and he throws a strike himself. I bet you there's no football here. Josh going for a triple, looking to see what he can do. His ball. Back on the head pin, slides over, the ball came by, the two pins, and what a leave, the 7-8, no wood. What a leave after another beautiful head pin hit. He can clip it over if he hits it light. Let's see what he goes for. He plucks the seven pin for a great nine fill on strike number two. And just looking to pluck the eight for a 10 box. And a big 10 there for Josh Daly. And another 70 half. Starts with a four box, still ends up with a 70 half. 
that's the mark of a true pro right there. Scally trying to trying to keep things going. The nice 52 half sitting on a strike. That's a lot of work for a 70. <laughs> so the, the total right now. 39. Jeff Walsh is up here, so I'm gonna pass you back to Jeff Little for the last first half of the night. Thank you, Corey. Dave, uh, right in the pocket. Uh, Jeff was just a little off the uh, to the left side of the pocket. Jeff a little right to the pocket this time. Dave with a beautiful spare right there. Jeff with an eight. Jeff just a little full on the head pin, but definitely a mixing ball right there. Dave a little off to the right for a uh, three fill. <coughs> Jeff with a uh, good chance at the spare. Gave it a bid, but just could not get the 10 pin to carry. Dave, get a good, Dave gave a good bid to his uh, spare two, but Dave gets the 10, Jeff gets a nine. Corey, have you seen Bowling like this before, like, like how crazy Josh is doing right now. I mean, it's it's insane how good he's throwing the ball. There's a lot of good bowlers out there. Um, I was here for I'm trying to think of who Jeff Jeff faced in the first round of Nico Singles with another great bowl, great bowling um, clinic. There's been some good bowling here and there, but this is Josh is just consistent, consistent, consistent tonight. Oh. You get a four box, and then you come back and still throw a 70 half. It's like, it's it's like I like I always say, it's it's a mental it's a mental game. Once you get and he he, he was like, okay, I threw that four box. I have a 13. I'm gonna get here. I'm gonna get at least a 60 half. He gets a 70 half. It's just these guys are unbelievable. While uh, we were talking, uh, Jeff got an eight box. Dave got a nine box. We are in the uh, fourth box of uh, game five here. Jeff is uh, going to throw here on lane 36. Just a little off the head pin. Leaves a decent leave though. Dave right on the head pin. <coughs> Leaves the 5-7. Uh, uh, and he doesn't have much wood. He doesn't have any wood. Jeff with a beautiful spare on lane 36. Dave just a little off, made a good tempo at that uh, spare opportunity though. Dave with an eight. Jeff just a little full right there. Dave just a little full on the head pin, but Dave has a 3-2 split. Jeff with a uh, four fill. Jeff hit his object just, and Dave hit his object, just nothing wanted to carry for them. Jeff with a seven box, Dave with a nine box, Jeff with a 46 half, Dave with a 49 half. We are gonna give you back to Corey right now for game five, the last five, and see what Josh Daly can do here. Here you go, Corey. All right, for those of you with us, we've had about 50 of you guys in here all night. I appreciate you joining us. Uh, we are on 700 watch. We need a 69 half from Josh Daly for him to hit 700. No mark here, just looking to get back on it, and that's with a four box to start the game. 
right back on the head pin and leaves the triangle in the middle, eight, plus the seven. Scally off filling a strike right back to the three pin for a half Worcester. For all intents and purposes, this game is over. It's 147 pin lead for Daly and Barber. We're just looking to see what, what Josh can do with these final five boxes. Scally tries to send it over, but gets the five. Four pill on a, on a strike. Josh with an eight box there. And Scally with a very tough four box. Josh looking to come back here in the seventh after a tough eight. All over it. See if it comes back and sits nice or takes out the seven. Wood's not sitting too bad. Scally's first ball here. All over the head pin leaves the banana split. Four, six, seven, ten. Josh, that piece of wood, I'm not sure if it's going to cover the seven, but if he hits it light enough, the ball will. He did not hit it light, but still got it. What a shot there from Josh Daly. Scally coming back. Tries to send it. The wood started to move, but fell off the deck too quickly. Looking to just get a ten out of this. Nine box there for Justin Scally. This is where Josh needs to get it done here. He has 51 pins away, three boxes and a fill. Needs to needs to get at least two more marks here. See if he can start with a big fill. Right back in the pocket, drops nine. Woods rolling ball. Oh, Wood took a turn, was rolling back. Great nine drop there. Scally's first ball just off the head pin. Nine fill there for Josh, looking to get another. There's a guide there. Here it is, all over it for another mark there for Josh Daly. Scally looking to come back, four horsemen plus the seven, and, 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 and where's the train when you need it? Ten pin doesn't want to go. And that's kind of a microchasm of the night for Justin Scally and Jeff Walsh. When they hit them, they don't go. And then when you're facing facing the caliber of bowlers you are, you need every shot that you can get. Josh Daly up filling another spare in the eighth here. 107 through eight plus a ball. Looking to get back on the head pin like US was in the eighth box. Back in the pocket. Leaves, left the entire back row for a minute, but the seven, eight, nine. Scally off to the left. It's a good seven fill for Josh. Another head pin hit. But tough, tough bit here. And he's usually when you're winning a game by 164, you don't care, but he knows where he where he's at to need to get to seven. He knows he needs this mark or, or one in the tenth. He's got plenty of wood to spray it. I would hit the right of the red line on that middle piece. Too far over. Looking to get a ten out of this anyway. Scally looking to come back to the head pin, see what he can get going. Off to the right. Ten there for Josh. And a nine for Scally. Josh off the head pin, leaves four horsemen plus the five and the eight. Scally, another half Worcester on the right side. Josh needs this mark to have a shot at 700. Right on the head pin, pushes, and it doesn't want to go. Scally off, back on the head pin, looking to shoot the half Worcester. And a nine for Josh for an impressive 694 for Josh Daly tonight. A 133 on the end there. Nine for Scally for a 97 game. 558 for Justin Scally. 
694 for Josh Daly. What an impressive night. I know he was hoping for the seven, but there's nothing wrong with throwing a 694 in a match like this. Here you go, Jeff, to take it home for us. Well, that was impressive. Uh, Josh and uh, Dave might want you to call more matches for them probably next the next round. Um, so here's our final five right now. Dave is on lane 36. Leaves the four horsemen. Jeff is on lane 35. Does not hit the head pin. Leaves a split, but he's got wood on the deck. Dave just a little inside on the four horsemen. I mean, that's probably what I would have tried, what Jeff tried right there. Dave with an eight box, Jeff with a nine box. Four more boxes left for the night tonight here. Thank you for everybody joining us here on Candlepin Corner. Uh, we really appreciate it. Corey, how many people do we have watching right now? Uh, we got 35 right now. We're looking for over 50 at one point. We got so, 35 hanging out with us strong here. So we had 35 people watching this right now. We were up to 50. Again, thank you to everybody watching and joining. I hope you guys are enjoying this as just as much as Corey and I are. Uh, this has been unbelievable. Jeff just goes right through for the spare opportunity. Dave going for his uh, 10 here. Dave gets a 10. Jeff gets an eight. Final three boxes here at Academy Lanes, Pub 125, Haverhill, Massachusetts. Dave right on the pocket, leaves it up two. Jeff to the right. I mean, if Jeff hits the head pin, he's probably gonna get a spare here. Dave tickles it, but he gets a spare. Ah, uh, never mind. Jeff did hit the head pin, but it was just a little too full. Jeff with a seven box. Jeff with a 70 half after eight, a 70, 70 after eight. Dave with a 77 half after eight with a fill. Beautiful ball by Dave right there and it's a hammer. Jeff going for a spare here. And Jeff gets a spare. I'm not going. Well, I'm not going. <laughs> nope. That's why but I would. They, they are on the cusp of a team uh, 1300. Davies, really? Davies 10 10. And there's nine of them. So and 18 of them because of the fill. So they, it, they did it. They're over 13 now. Wow. That is unbelievable. Dave with the spare on strike. A little salt in the wound. I wanted that to go for Jeff. <laughs> and Jeff's going to close out the night here. Going for the 10 box. He throws the slow, slow, slow ball. The slider. The sli yeah, it was the slider. Dave, just a little bit light on the head pin. A 121 for Dave. A 13-14 for Josh and Dave. That was unbelievable to watch. Uh, again, the story of the whole entire night, Corey. Josh, 694. That's an insane night from Josh. And only, only rough game. He missed the fever rough game. He's at 120 in the second. Um, everything else, 133, 153, 155, 133. What a night for Josh. Even Dave. Dave started 138, 145. <laughs> Lost it a little bit, but he gave them such a cushion early on. 
it really didn't make a difference. Oh yeah, they had that cushion, and they would just, they just, <laughs> Scally and them tried to come back. It was trying to make a comeback. I mean, like, I, Scally throws a 156, and Josh comes, Josh goes right after him and throws a 153. And that was that was pretty much it. If Scally throws that 156, even if Josh throws a 112 game, you gain 40 pins back. Um, instead, he throws a 153, you only gain three, and that was that was pretty much it at that yeah, point. Yeah, when, when you throw a 156 and you only gain three pins, that's that's kind of hard to uh, do anything about. I don't have the bracket in front of me, so I can't speak to each of their divisions. As this is the the Nico first round, three brackets, and then the final match will be a three-way dance, triple threat match for those wrestling fans out there. Um, I'm going to try and be doing some of these streams. we got Anthony uh, Leonardi's going to try and do this, some of these streams as we go through. Uh, Paul Grant, Bob Lee will have some of them. So we're going to get as much coverage on this as possible so we can hopefully get bowling like this. 13-14 Th to 11-27. Um, outstanding bowling. Whoever has to face them next, good luck. I suggest don't do it at Academy Lanes. Love the house. But you see with how they bowled here, you don't want to go up against that. Um, Thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. Thanks, Jeff, for, for joining me here in the in the makeshift booth. Oh, no problem. I, hopefully we can do it again. That was a lot of fun. Oh, this will be available on Facebook. I'm going to upload it to our YouTube page as well. I'm going to try, try and get more use out of that. But from Academy Lanes, I'm Corey Lisi with Jeff Little here. Uh, congrats to Josh Daly and Dave Barber for moving on, and we'll catch you next time.